Google Pinterest affiliate marketing tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with affiliate marketing on Pinterest. So let's jump right in. Now, what exactly is affiliate marketing and how can you do that on Pinterest? Well, affiliate marketing is a form of marketing where people take affiliate links and they promote them. And that is honestly the gist of it. However, you could find different types or different levels of affiliate marketing. One of the safest and securest ways to get started with affiliate marketing that I have seen have been Amazon Associates. So for Amazon Associates, you do have to verify your profile and you have to prove that you have your own website that you are going to be using to promote their accounts. So you don't randomly spam Amazon items on different pages. And once you have created your account on Amazon Associates, it allows you to get your own personalized link to promote any item. Now, how can you promote those items on Pinterest? Well, there are a few different ways that you can actually promote on Pinterest. First off, you need to always make sure that your links are going through your website. Usually, you don't want to insert your direct link from Pinterest to Amazon. That just leaves a very bad impression that you're just trying to promote an affiliate product. And instead, I recommend you create a blog post or create a Google Sites website, which you can do in under five minutes. So just head on over to sites.google.com. And once you do that, you can pick out a blank template and build a simple website like this. And once you have built a simple website like this, you can start promoting your products. So with Amazon Associates, if someone clicks on your link or purchases any product off of Amazon 24 hours after they have clicked on your special link, you will get a commission. Now, the commission can vary depending on the niche that you are present in, and choosing a niche is very important for Pinterest. So if I go onto my Pinterest section and go into my home feed, if I search for maybe hair care, you will see that there will be dedicated accounts to hair care and posting hair care tips. So you guys can see hair routine and products for healthy hair. Now, if I click on this over here, I have a shop link or a website link, which is probably going to detail this particular article. And you have this shop this post option. And now it has all of the affiliate links for those products. So in this way, you are going to be using your site as well, and you are going to use Canva to build this kind of content. So how can you build this kind of content for Pinterest? Now, I have a business account on Pinterest, and you can click on your top right and click on your accounts option and click on business access to be able to create your own business account. A business account will usually allow you to have more details about your Pinterest account and will provide you with valuable information and analytics. Now, let's build our content for Pinterest. Now, I'm going to be promoting this product over here, and I want to write a simple hair care pin and then redirect from my Google Sites website to Amazon. I'm going to go into Canva and search for Pinterest. And once I search for Pinterest, I'm going to open up the Pinterest pin section. And this will give you so many different templates that you can choose from. You have a lot of different templates that you can pick out from. So five ways to style your kitchen. You have a few different types of templates, healthy options, how to start an online business. So I will take this template over here and click on customize this template. Now, once I do that, I'm going to change this to pop hair care tips for healthy, luscious hair. And I'm going to reduce the font size a little like this. And then below that, I'm going to remove the website link. And I'm just going to expand the text a little like this. And then make sure it is centered. Now I'm going to delete these pre-existing images. And then insert my own Amazon product image or affiliate product image. Whatever affiliate product you have, you're going to click on uploads and upload images of that product by clicking on upload files and then just upload your images. So I'm going to be inserting a couple of images of the product like this and this. And then I'm just going to go into elements and search for hair. And then I'm going to go into photos and I'll use this image but I don't like the framing of this, so I'm going to delete this and click on elements and then just search for frame. And then I'm going to go into the all section and click on see all in the frame section. 
Now I'm going to resize this frame so it fits a bit better like this. And then I'm going to copy and paste and place it again. And then I'm just going to insert one image over here. And I might want to reduce the size of this one a little. I'm going to take this frame and reduce it and then copy this one. And then just restructure the images so they fit a bit better for my particular product like this. Now, once I've done that, I can go back into uploads and then I can upload another photo of my product. And then one photo is going to be the result of my product, which is going to be, you know, healthy hair. So I'll just search for hair over here and use a free graphic to represent that. So I think I'm going to go with this one over here. And once I've done that, I can click on share on the top right and then click on download and download this as a PNG. Now, once our download has been completed, I can go into Pinterest and then I can click on the top left and I can click on create pin. Now, once I do that, I can create a pin over here. So I'm going to take our PNG that we just created and add a title. So our title is going to be top five hair care tips. And then I will add a description. The description is going to be a goal of your particular affiliate. So if you are marketing, let's say you are marketing an email marketing tool, you're going to add a description to improve your website's SEO or improve your marketing techniques, whatever is being achieved with your particular product, you're going to insert that as a description. So growing healthy hair, growing healthy hair has never been made easier with these tips like this you know whatever is your description you're going to elaborate upon it so make sure that it is a bit descriptive you want to write at least like three to four lines about the product and then you're going to add the link now to add our link we're going to go into sites.google.com and create a page which is going to be our affiliates like this and then over here, I'm going to add a section for our Amazon product like this. And now I will insert a image of our product as well. So our Amazon product will be inserted over here like this. And then I will enter my text, which is going to be top hair care item. And then I can enter my descriptive text or I can link my Amazon link. So let's say I have this as my link. I will click on copy. And then select this from the text and then click on hyperlink and then I will paste my item link over here and I will do the same thing for my image over here as well. I will click on open over here and then I can click on settings and then you can go on ahead and insert that over here but I'm just going to keep this simple right now but obviously if you are building a pin that says that this is going to lead them to a blog post you want to make this a blog post so you can convert this into top five hair care tips and you can use chat gpt to write that blog for you and then just have your affiliate at the top and click on publish now once you click on publish you can view this page and then copy your google sites link and then insert that into the link section on Pinterest. After that, you can choose a board. I will add this to my affiliates board and I can add tags like hair care. I will click on hair care or maybe hairstyles, hair care, whatever is a relevant tag to your particular affiliate. And then you have some other options and then just click on publish to publish your Pinterest affiliate marketing pin. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with affiliate marketing using Pinterest as well. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.